Dude, they're freaking everywhere. Like Moth City down here. So today we're going to head off and tame one of the most useful creatures here on my medieval server. And it's also not a very medieval creature. We're riding on one right now. This is not mine though. Um, I'm actually going to have to get my own. Basically, um, I don't have one of these right now. And I almost got this one killed earlier in the bear cave. Definitely don't run out of stamina when there's like 10 bears below you because you'll almost get somebody else's creature killed just completely. Ripped apart into shreds and everything. They would have gotten all of its silk. Um, so today we're going to head down to the desert and try to get ourselves a Lymantria. Um, hopefully we can find a good level and I have enough to at least tame two max levels so we can keep looking and try to get some really high levels. Um, they're going to take five kibble with our rates. And uh, I've got stuff for a trap as well. Basically, I learned this recently, but a tent is the best way to actually tame a Lymantria. Basically, all you have to do is you got to wait for it to land. You can bowl it at this point if you want to. It doesn't really matter, but you just place the tent down on top of them. And then you can just open up the little door on the tent. Oh my god, seriously? Okay, I'm not going to take... Mm, well, maybe we will take that. Okay, I don't have the weight for all this stuff. I'm going to drop that normal crossbow and replace it with this one because that's got better durability and better damage, but I don't know if I can carry the shield. And I really don't want to head back to base already. All right, no. Okay, no, we can carry it for the moment at least. Um, <laughs> God damn it. Every single time I try to go out, I always find something good, and then I'm like, all right, I should really bring that back because I'm, ju I'm just too weighty at this point. But whatever, we're going to head out and try to get this moth. Um, it's a long flight down to the desert, so it's going to be just a little bit, but... um. Yeah, you just basically place the tent in on top of them and, and trap them that way. Uh, I guess you could probably also build something, but the tent just seems to be the easier option because it's really easy to craft and you don't have to place it down on anything. It can go directly down on top of the ground. So that's what our plan is here today. Uh, maybe we'll try to do something else later as well. Um, definitely need a moth for myself though, because going around and collecting the drops on this server is an absolute pain. So this is the only flyer that you can get, which means that whenever there's a drop that's like up a mountain and you don't have a flyer, you're going to have to just scale the mountain with whatever you're on. Usually I don't have a thyla myself, but usually I'm running around on my horse. So getting up mountains on a horse is pretty difficult. And especially with the fact that the drops could easily break before you even get to them, that has happened more than enough times for me. So yeah, this is the plan here today. Uh, guys, make sure they hit the like button if you enjoy this one. I do want to also mention, we did a charity stream the other day. We actually did it on this server, which was great. Um, we raised over $4,200 for sick children. It's the Extra Lives thing. Uh, the Wildcard devs did their own stream and their whole big thing. And I joined in as like a team member and we raised the money. Um, guys, it is absolutely awesome that we did that. Um, I'm really happy with the feedback from the community, you guys really seem to put your all into it. I mean, like 4,000 is a huge amount of money. So I'm really happy that we could do that. And uh, yeah, you guys also saw some spoilers to the series in that stream because I've gotten a few videos done uh, basically <laughs> before I put out that stream. So uh, I've just realized we are in the murder snow right now. Is it better to keep my armor on even though it's flak? I don't even know. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my health though. I'm gonna have to get across this murder snow as quick as possible. Um, let's see. I think if we just fly straight, it should be the fastest route out of this area. That's the end of the snow there, but we got to get completely out, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. No. <gasps> oh my god, we're on nine health. Okay, I'm staying here because it's not super cold. Are we good? Wait, okay, let's fly a little bit further. Oh. The murder snow is no joke. Oh my god, I almost died. Luckily, I have a lot of health, but oh, dude, that is crazy. I knew that we were flying through here, but I didn't bring any fur because it's super heavy and this moth doesn't have a huge amount of health. All right, I'm going to just sit here and regen just a little bit. I should have brought some health brews and stuff like that. Man, that could have been really, really bad. Oh, hello, freaking wolves following me. Look at you hunting me down. Oh, okay. Can you guess what happens? All right, we can properly heal now. Let's go ahead and eat a piece of meat. Oh my, no, 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 why? I'm dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, dude, why? There's our beam, okay. 
Don't see Palavia and the moth got killed by a dire wolf. I didn't even. Ugh. God damn it. All right, now I got to tame two moths here today. Oh, man. That's annoying. Rip. Yeah, I got to tame two moths because I got to replace that one. God damn it. That is the worst luck, though. If anything. I mean, come on. I come out of the snow, get Prolovied, and then the moth gets killed. <laughs> God damn it. And there's the Prolovied, and there's the moth. Uh, well, the dead moth. Let's go ahead and just try to kill all these creatures here. All right, he's dead. It was really nothing I could have done there, though. I really couldn't have saved that moth in any way. I didn't expect to be Prolovied, but here's the here's the kicker. We're too heavy now. We're too heavy to carry all this stuff. We are way too heavy. Look at this. I gotta, I gotta drop something. All right, we're gonna drop the shield. I don't even care. It's good, but whatever. We're gonna leave it because I don't, I don't have the weight to be able to carry that too. Alrighty, so we definitely have to tame two moths here today, and we should probably take off the fur armor. To be honest, we're gonna have to kill some NPC guys and maybe get some desert cloth off of them. Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna start my hunt here now. That really sucks, though. I, I feel bad, like, it wasn't my moth and it got killed, but I, I don't think anybody would be would be mad at me, considering what just happened. <laughs> 174. All right, we'll get that one. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get ready. Um, like I said earlier, we're going to place a tent over it pretty easy. Uh, we just gotta wait for it to land. Or I could bola it. I mean, that's also an option. Is that a rock golem over there? That is not. Okay. Um, cool. Alright, let's see. I think maybe I'll just keep some bolas on me just in case. And we have a rifle and our darts. We're all good. Pretty much ready to go. Oh, there's another moth over there. What level are you? 18. Oh, damn it. If only that was a 180. <laughs> hey, we could probably get a jaboa while we're down here. Uh, there's one right there. Level one, whoa, a max level Jerboa. It's amazing. Oh, that one there's cooler. Or is it? I like this one better. We'll get this one. <laughs> die, Jerboa. Except don't die. Get just get knocked out. Alright, cool. So I don't think we can get plant species Y seeds here, so I'll just feed it some normal mejos. Um is that the moth there? You the one I was gonna get? 174. Perfect. Just realized I should place a couple sleeping bags down here somewhere. Because I could easily die. You right there, you were level 18, right? Yeah. Hello, frog. Level 108 frog. Where'd the moth go? Oh, there it is. Jaboa, you gonna tame? Okay, here we go. Is it in? Yep, it's trapped. Alright, here we go. Okay. I do have a magnifying glass. Sweet, we got the Jaboa. So we can check its health and everything. Alright, maybe we'll pull it out now and take a little look. The... Oh yeah, we're getting there. Okay, maybe I'll just try to run over and whistle the other one. Is that him there? Okay, we got him. Come on. Okay, let's see. Maybe I could probably use Trank Arrows from here. So I don't have to waste the darts, because darts are not craftable on here. Yeah, we'll use the trank arrows for the rest. Just realized those are my hotbar. <laughs> the stack mod that we have on here is actually really cool. It makes the items appear as they actually should. 
Um, that right there is what Barry should drop out as, by the way. Wildcard made all those little items uh, with plans to actually have them in game, and hardly any of them actually ended up in game. You can get some of them on aberration, but uh, for the majority, you can't really actually get them to drop out like that. Like silica pearls will drop out like their actual item, but uh, most other ones won't. So we've got this moth down anyway. Let's go ahead and just pick up the tent. We're just going to leave it there for the moment. And we're going to just look around for another. Where? Okay, R1 is like right here. All right, let's see if we can maybe get some stuff off of these NPC people. I'll just take everything for the moment. And oh, is there another one there? Oh my god, there is. Yeah, this can happen sometimes. Pretty nice, actually. Get two for the price of one. Where are they, though? Hmm, maybe they got killed because it's just the HUD. I didn't see any little numbers pop up. All right, cool. What do we get? Um, I'm going to just drop all the dyes. And I'm going to eat some of the vegetables. Cause why not? Oh, hello. <laughs> Stupid bugs. Imagine shooting a bug to kill. Oh, that's a raptor. Ugh. All right, we're good. I'm going to drop the cannonballs and fertilizer, and we got some shards. Nice. Uh, Drop that. All right, yeah, cool. Well, we got some good stuff out of that. Just a couple little bits of ammo. Oh, hey, shocking trank dart. That could come in handy because we can use those on um on another moth if we can find one. This one over here is still in the taming stage uh let's see let's just take a little look around i think we're safe pretty nice spot to drop it all right 25 percent. what it said i needed five. Oh, it was five for a 180 so i guess uh four does it for a 174 unless that's slightly lower than 25 percent. so i'll keep all five in there just in case or i guess the the other four um just in case but um yeah that's kind of nice all right, well, I don't know what I should be doing here. I should probably be looking for another moth, but I don't want to take the moth that we have here and go. Because, um, as you can see, we can't really fly fast with it. I'm just going to leave it right here, and I'm going to put a couple things into it so we can have a couple bits of freed-up weight. Uh, I'm going to hang on to that just in case something bad happens, but I'll keep that in there, and I'll drop that and that. Um, alrighty, cool. Let's take a little look. I did already look around a little bit over this side, but it's worth having another little gander. Maybe we can try to find another one. 174 is nice. That can replace the one that I got killed. Either that or if we get a, another higher level. I'll keep one of them myself at least, but we'll give the other one away. I don't know exactly who owned that one. I don't think it was named either, so... Uh, okay, we should probably kill that Carno. See, do I have... Oh, I didn't bring my flame arrows. I thought I did. All right, let's try and kill that Carno then. What, what level is it first? It's only a level 30. We should be okay to kill it. It's dead. Let's go see if it dropped any shards. Oh, is that RG? Okay, I thought it aggroed. Yeah, for some reason, Carnos drop, don't drop the shards occasionally. I don't know why, but... They just seem to be kind of bugged out. They don't do it. Let's see. They're still good. Oh, what? Did I drop my Jerboa? Oops. Is that another Carno? Level are you? Level 66. All right. Well, it's going to take a little bit more to kill this one, but we should be able to. Missed that one shot not going for me oh now it is got him did you drop any no yeah it's really weird i don't understand they are set up to drop two shards but it just doesn't work okay two bites so far possibly another two could be another three i guess i could just go ahead and go back into dodo decks and just see and then i would be able to know for sure but i'm just gonna leave the kibble in there for the moment anyway um Alrighty, come on. There's got to be another moth here somewhere. 
All right, we got the moth. It only took the four kibble as well. Sweet. Let me see your stats. Um, not too bad. The weight's actually pretty decent. Let's go ahead and where do I want to do? Hmm. I feel like I might want to leave this one here. I feel like I will. There's not a huge amount of loot on him. I mean, if they kill him, I really don't think anybody would kill him to be honest, because it's a freaking moth. But whatever. They kill him. They kill him. I have to look for another one anyway, and I don't want uh, two creatures to have to look after. Is this a man-made thing? Or okay, that's a Law's Kingdom. Is that a raft? That's not a raft, is it? Okay, no, it's not a raft. It's just like a little base that they had built, and it looks like it's been blown open. Nice. Um, alrighty, we got an office right there. All right, well we gotta look for another one. Are those tamed moss chops? What is happening down here? <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Alrighty, so we gotta look for another high-level moth. Um, we do have a good amount of kibble left over. We have six right now. Oh, did I leave that? Okay, no, I have the tent. I was about to say, if I left that, I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna search this river. This seems like a good a good area to actually be able to find them. Don't want to go too close to that base right there. I don't want them to think I'm coming here scouting or something. Oh, look, they got some drawbridges. Cool. It's a good way to fix this bridge. I mean, not bad, not bad. All right, we got to watch the stamina on this guy because he doesn't have as much as our old one. We've got two moths over here. Come on. Wait, what is that over there? I thought I saw like a sign or something. What was that? Oh, it was probably just these <laughs> lystros all together. All righty, let's see. 174. Okay. What is that? Whose raft is that? So 174 and we got a 108. Oh, wait, no, that's the power star. Hang on. Let's check out that other one right there. 108. All right, never mind. All right, so we're gonna get that 174, I guess. Well, I'm glad that I definitely held out. This one's actually really pretty as well. All right, cool. So let's quickly get that tent ready before it takes off. Sweet. So, oh, oh you scared me. You really scared me. Dude, the hell. All right, let's pump in these shocking trank darts. This will definitely help out. Bam. Nice. Probably, I don't know how many shocking trank darts it would take, really. I feel like we might be able to get it knocked out with uh, the five of these. Maybe? No, this is a decent enough rifle. I think I'll check it right now just to see. Oh, yeah. Very, very close. Um, well, let's definitely use trank arrows now, but I'm going to quickly see what it's at oh i am very thirsty oh dude it's like one little bit off oh that was so close okay have a little drink all righty so you're gonna take four kibble all right let's quickly snag this and now i'm out of here whoo freaking mantis look at you those things are vicious, man. They really are. All right. Our moth is just over here. All right. So our moth should be tamed. Uh, I basically just went over there to try and collect a couple drops that I saw. And I've already checked the tribe log and it's tamed. There it is. Hello. Sweet. Oh, okay. That's a Jerboa. I thought that was somebody beside it for a second. I was about to say, hmm, what's happening here? Uh, yeah, we got it. Sweet. Uh, now we don't have enough kibble for another high level if we did find one, but I guess we could probably take a little look around anyway. Um, if I can find another high level, I could just trap it and then come back for it. All right, let's see your stats. Uh, good stamina. Um, lower on the weight. Melee is pretty high. <laughs> so funny seeing a moth with good melee when they can't even attack, but okay. Uh, yeah, this one's actually pretty good. It's weight's a little low, but it's definitely got a good amount of stamina to begin with. Definitely, like, it, I think it's about 100 more than what we had, so... 
Uh, let's go ahead and just drop a bunch of crap into you because this one here is getting kind of weighty. I'm pretty sure I don't have the other saddle, right? Yeah, that's on the other moth. I got to go over and check that one. Maybe if I do find another one, I know that the tribe living in the desert temple, they're quite active. So if anybody's online, maybe I could trade for... Perhaps maybe I could trade for another two kibble or three kibble, depending on what level I could find. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just group up all of my moths together and then maybe we'll just take another little look around. Maybe I'll see if they want to trade for some kibble before I find one. <laughs> There's another 174 over here. I want to tame it. Oh, no, 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 Karno, stay away from it. Okay. Uh, I need my... I need my freaking tent. Where did I put that? Is it in this one? Is it in this one? There it is. All right, cool. I'm going to try and trap this, and then I'm going to ask the tribe that lives here to see if, uh... See if they're around. I don't know if they're online yet, but we'll see. It's kind of the dark one here. The light one would have been really nice, but unfortunately... Uh, it's like a level 24. Look at the colors on this one, though. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful looking. And now... My silk. Does that drain your water or something? I feel like it might. I'm not exactly sure, though. Um... Any roundy... Tribe on. Alright. Well, I've got two kibble anyway. Oh, what? Did it get out? It got out. Where did it go? Hey, I found the 174. It's over here. Uh, Yeah, I don't know how he got this far away without me even noticing him. There's another one there. It's a level 24. God, why are all the really nice ones super low levels? Super annoying. All right. Well, we will leave you guys there for the moment. That one there is a 72, I think. Um, all right, well, we're gonna need to pump in some trank darts or else we'll kill it. Oh, sweet. We actually have more shocking trank darts. Should be able to drop it with this. Oh, great. Of course that wouldn't, uh, register. Oh, stupid. Sweet. Okay. Four of them so far. Five. And it's out. Sweet. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Um, let's see if anybody's around the desert that wants to trade for some regular kibble. Are you kidding me? I just found another freaking high level. This one here is a 180. Oh my god, what is with this place? <laughs> Alright, well I have somebody bringing two kibble to me, unfortunately. I don't think I can ask them to really go back to their stuff and get another one. Oh, that sucks. There's so many moths around here though, dude. It's crazy. I don't have enough for a 180. It's gonna take uh, three kibble, or not three, five kibble for that one. An extra three on top of what I already have. Damn it, dude. That sucks. All right, well, we're going to tame the 174 at least. So what do you want for this? Got anything interesting on you right now? Not really. I mean, I have a moss chop sack if you want that. <laughs> sure, why not? Um, I could check my moth as well. Hang on. Fifteen shards. Cool. <laughs> All right. Cheers, dude. Catch you later. Awesome. All right. So we have the extra two kibble, and uh, my tribe mate looks to be maybe bringing down more kibble because there's so many high-level moths. We can't just not tame them. I think maybe he might have spotted where I was taming that moth. All right. So we're going to head over to there and... Try to feed it, see if we can get this thing tamed. Alright, we got the Lymantria. He's all tamed up. Just gotta head back over and grab him. 
There he is. Awesome. So, um, yeah, it looks to be, it's looking good that we're going to get another one as well. That one has pretty good weight, actually. Pretty good health and decent stamp. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and bring this one over to the herd of, of moths that we have at this point. I mean, this is kind of getting a little bit silly. We have so many. We really do. <laughs> like, how many have I tamed so far? Wait, what level are you? Hello. Level 72, right? I think it said. Yeah, we've tamed like three so far. And we see another one. So, yeah, this is kind of insane. The moth teaming expedition. I guess this is the luck I'd get after the bad luck that we had earlier. Um, let me just make sure that that thing doesn't fly off. That's a pretty one, actually. I might keep this one as my own. Yeah, I think I'm going to make this one my own because it's a nice color and it matches what I'm kind of looking for as a name. Here's our name. Napalm. <laughs> I think that's a great name for a moth. Um, we've been calling them like AC-130 and stuff like that and airstrike and everything. So Napalm is a perfect name. This is going to be R1. It's got the good weight. It's got decent health and it's got decent stamina. Not the best stamina, but still. All right. I think I'm going to try and drop that 180 if I can find it. We'll just have it down. Um, is the oh, please be it up here. I don't think this is it, but if it is, that's a perfect spot and it's not. <laughs> If that had been it, though, that would have been a great spot for it to be because it's completely safe up there. Uh, there's two over here. That's a 114 and a 24. Oh, there's another one right there. Dude, they're freaking everywhere. Like Moth City down here. Alrighty, so we're going to get this one down as well. Rosie's going to come on over with the rest of the kibble that we need. And, oh yeah, that does decrease your water. Alright, so we're back at our base now and... Man, that was a long day of taming moths and fails and everything else. Um, so we got these two right here from me. Napalm is pretty amazing and it looks really awesome. Probably the best looking one, I think, to be honest. Um, then we have Airstrike here as well. Not as pretty, but definitely good stats. I mean, the stamina is pretty amazing. Health's pretty good. Uh, weight is pretty good as well. And then we have this one here, which is free to claim for anybody in my tribe who wants it. Uh, so those are the stats right there. Uh, that's the one that I'm replacing the one that got killed with. And then this is another free to claim one. And then that's the one that, oh wait, no, this is the one that we, uh, rode out on the second time. Um, so yeah, pretty amazing stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take Napalm though, and head on over to this little ice cave over here and, uh, maybe try to get myself some ammos and stuff because this is a really good spot to get that stuff in. There's five drops in here. And, um, basically instead of finding actual loot in here, like, in terms of, like, you know, you don't get any blueprints or, or armor or weapons or anything from here. I changed it so they can't be farmed easily for all that stuff, but they can be farmed for things like ammo and, like, different little bits, like, I guess, grappling hooks and uh, zipline thingies as well. So, lots of useful stuff in here for sure. Just not as OP as it easily could be. But, um, yeah, we're going to head in here. And grab up all that loot but guys i think that's probably going to be it for today if you have enjoyed this video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe um really happy that we now have our own moth and now we actually have two which is pretty amazing so if my one gets killed at least i'll have something to replace it with but um yeah that's pretty amazing anyway yeah we'll catch you in the next one your strike inbound here we go